some of the common things that we talk about are are both recency bias and the halo effect. And, you know, if you're not in the HR space, you probably haven't heard those terms before. But the idea behind the recency bias is exactly that, you know, instead of thinking about reviewing performance for the entire review period, it's common to really reflect on what happened most recent. Did they have a huge win on a project? So you score them higher or did they make a mistake? And that's top of mind, even though the rest of their year may have been amazing. And then the halo effect is the idea that an individual who may be more like the reviewer um, or may be personally more favored by the reviewer essentially has a halo and therefore their performance isn't really evaluated the same as somebody who might not have that halo. So it's, you know, maybe seeing all of the great things that they do and putting a little less emphasis on the things that need improvement. Those can all impact the subjectivity. So really good things to know about. 